I've got a fun little proof about eccentricities for you today. We're going to prove that for two adjacent vertices, u and v, their eccentricities can differ by at most one. That's what we're going to prove. You can see the eccentricity notation we're using here is epsilon of the vertex to indicate its eccentricity. Of course, another common notation is just ECC of the vertex to denote its eccentricity, but we're going to use this epsilon notation, which will be kind of weird for those of you who've been watching my real analysis videos, but hey, I'm feeling kind of risky tonight, so that's what we're going to do. Quick recap, what is the eccentricity of a vertex? It is the greatest distance between the vertex and all other vertices of the graph. So put another way, there's some vertex in the graph furthest from u, the distance between u and that vertex is the eccentricity of u. And of course, similarly for the eccentricity of v. So with that in mind, it should seem kind of reasonable that if two vertices are adjacent, and thus the distance between them is one, that their eccentricities, their maximum distances between other vertices in the graph, could differ by at most one. But let's go ahead and prove it. So that we don't have to worry about the absolute value and we don't have to get worried about any negatives or anything like that, let's say that without loss of generality, the eccentricity of u is greater than or equal to the eccentricity of v. Thus, the eccentricity of u minus the eccentricity of v is what? Well, it's certainly greater than or equal to zero. So then what remains for us to prove, what we want to prove is that this difference is less than or equal to one. That's what we want to prove. It will be pretty easy for us to figure out how to prove that the eccentricity of u minus the eccentricity of v is less than or equal to one if we just start thinking simple. What's the eccentricity of u? It's the maximum distance between u and all other vertices of the graph. So maybe we just forget about the maximum just for a moment and just write distance between u and x, where x just represents an arbitrary vertex from the graph. Similarly, for the eccentricity of v, we might just write distance between v and x, just to get these distances written down, maybe give us something to work with. How does the distance between u and a vertex x relate to the distance between v and an arbitrary vertex x? At first, you might think, we don't really know. This could be bigger than this, this could be smaller, or they could be equal. But if you remember that u and v are neighbors, they're adjacent in our graph, we can actually say for sure that the distance between u and any vertex x is less than or equal to the distance between v and x plus one. You see why that is? It's because, of course, to get from u to x, we could just go from u to v, which is a length of one in our path, and then go from v to x, which would have distance this, distance between v and x. So we're always positive that we have a way to get from u to x in at most one plus distance between v and x edges. We can always just go from u to v and then travel along the path from v to x. So we know this is true. Then we can immediately start to make some important statements about the eccentricities. For starters, just by definition, what is the eccentricity of u? By definition, the eccentricity of u is the maximum distance between u and x taken over all vertices x in our graph g. But because we know that every one of these distances is less than or equal to every one of these, this maximum is less than or equal to the maximum of all of these. So once more, because every one of these is less than every one of these, the maximum of these is certainly less than or equal to the maximum of these. But then we can rewrite this in a bit of a nicer form. The maximum of one plus the distance between v and x taken over all vertices x in the graph, what is that equal to? Well, the maximum is only really acting on the distance between v and x. The maximum is being taken over all vertices x 
and that vertex x just appears in this distance function. Point is, we can take the one out of the maximum function. This maximum is equal to one plus just the maximum distance between v and x over all vertices x. But then, what is this equal to? Well, the maximum distance between v and x taken over all vertices x is, by definition, the eccentricity of v. So this is 1 plus the eccentricity of v. So now what we have here is that the eccentricity of u, the eccentricity of u is less than or equal to 1 plus the eccentricity of v, which gives us precisely what we wanted to prove. We wanted to prove that the eccentricity of u minus the eccentricity of v is less than or equal to 1, and we get that by subtracting the eccentricity of v from both sides here. And so we've just proven that for two adjacent vertices, the bigger eccentricity minus the smaller eccentricity is at most 1. And of course, it's greater than or equal to 0, since it's the bigger one minus the smaller one. Thus, for two neighbors, for two adjacent vertices, we know that their eccentricities differ by at most 1. Hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.